Hi, and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrow. This series currently contains four books. The first book is Obsidian. The second book is Onyx. The third book is Opal. And the fourth book is Origin. The fifth book called Opposition will be released sometime next year, I believe around August. So I want to start off by saying that this review is going to be entirely spoiler free, so if, even if you haven't read any of the books in the series, or if you've read some and not others, I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. I have read all four. And I'm going to say, before I get into what I did and didn't like about the series, I am not as big of a fan of this series as some other people are, and now I'm going to proceed to tell you why. I'm going to start out with the things that I did not like about the series. The My main issue with this series is the writing. I'm just, it, it bugged me more as the series went on. It's just, I felt like the writing style was really juvenile and it was just really short and ch the sentences were really just short and choppy and it just didn't flow very well. I don't know if this is just because I like to write and I'm like a grammar Nazi, so I kind of, I notice these kind of things more often. It was just sentences like, oh my god, he looked awesome today, or he was so hot. And I just, I didn't really admire her word choice and just some of the ways she explained things. I felt like it was a little juvenile and it bothered me. I, I don't think this bothers other people as much, it's just my personal opinion. And the second thing is something that a lot of people notice, and that is the parallels to Twilight. Especially with the first book, Obsidian, this series has a lot of parallels to Twilight. The main character, Katie, can be compared to Bella. The guy character, Damon, can be compared to Edward. That one's a little... I don't see that one as much, but their best friend, D is definitely Alice. And there's the bitchy girl, Ash, which is basically Rosalie. And... I mean, I read Twilight such a long time ago that I didn't really notice it as much. I really, I didn't really take it as this book was like Twilight more than I took it as this book was not completely original. I feel like the whole alien aspect was definitely original. I haven't read anything like that in a while, but the whole, the way that it went about with the paranormal romance was definitely just not the best, in my opinion. But I'm not... Paranormal romances, honestly, are just a hit or a miss for me. Sometimes I really like them, and sometimes I don't. So now for the things that I did like about the series. The best thing about the series is just that it's a fun series. They're very addicting. It's very fast-paced, and you get into the action very quickly. And I know a lot of people stay up very late reading these books because they're so addicting. And even if they aren't the greatest books in the world, it's just a book that you can open up, have some fun, and kind of escape reality, which is awesome. And another awesome thing about this series is that the main character, Katie, is a book blogger, which is something that I know a lot of us on the BookTube community can relate to. She does a lot of, like, Waiting for Wednesdays in my mailbox videos, and I just thought that was really cute because there's not a lot of main characters in YA that a lot of people can relate to because they're either really badass or they're just kind of normal and... There's not a really lot of characters that I can relate to, and I thought that was awesome how I could relate to Katie in that aspect. Another good thing about this series was definitely Katie and Damon's relationship. Even though it was really angsty, you just you shipped them together even in the first book, and it, I mean, it was a little bit of insta-love, but you really get to see their relationship develop over the series. So now... I am going to tell you my ratings and kind of a mini-ish review for each book. The first book, Obsidian, might have been my favorite book in the series. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. It was a great start to the series. When you read it, you were really interested to see what was going on. And I thought that this was a pretty good book. The second book, Onyx, was a little too angsty for my taste. The characters in it were just, it was kind of a will they, won't they thing. And I felt like that really drove the book. And I'm not very into that kind of thing. So I still give it four out of five stars. Maybe actually a three. I thought it was good, just not as good as the first book. Scratch what I said about the first book. The third one, Opal, was probably my favorite 
book in the series. It is really focused on Katie and Damon's relationship, and I felt like their relationship really evolved and grew in this book, and I thought that it was really interesting. The ending was so sad and so heartbreaking, and I gave this book a four out of five stars. Now, the last book, Origin. I had quite a few issues with this book. It's just one of those books where you like the series and then a certain something happens in a book and you're just like, I don't like that series as much. This book, I just felt like all the characters went against themselves. It was kind of like a Mockingjay sort of deal where all the characters just do stuff that you don't think they do. I felt like this book was really just all the characters were whiny and complaining and all this crap happens that you're just like, like, WTF, like why did this happen? And this book too had a lot more, how can I put this lightly? Had a lot of sexual references. Now, I understand that it's young adult, it's going to have that, but I felt like this one was verging on like new adult type of stuff, if you get what I'm saying. It was just, honestly, Origin was a hot mess. And I know Whitney from Witty Novels even told me before I started the series, like, don't read the fourth book. It was so bad. I still, I'd still say read it. It was just, I hated it. I gave it two out of five stars. And honestly, I might end up docking that rating to a one star. So overall, I think this is a good series. If you're a fan of paranormal romance, then I would definitely suggest picking it up. I know so many people love this series. I'm just not as in love with it as other people. So if you've read the series or any of the books in the series, let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you again soon.